So you didn't make it for me? Not for you specifically. Oh, wow. I mean, I feel like every garment I make or have always made has been for you in a way. Hi, I'm Emily Adams Bodie. And I'm Aaron Ajla, and we're in our apartment in Chinatown, New York City. This apartment is a reflection of kind of the things that Emily and I have collected over the years, but also the things that we've made and different iterations of things that we've made that just kind of find itself at home here. It's kind of ever changing and ever evolving. I think it, it kind of takes its starting point from like a Cape Cod modern point of view, maybe. There's elements of it that feel kind of coastal or marine, but also kind of American modernism, something like that. I would say probably like 80% of the stuff in this in this place is we made. And then the rest is kind of just Emily. Emily always brings home like bags and boxes of things. Almost all every the day. time. <laughs> yeah. So they're just like, they just kind of randomly show up and then I kind of figure out where they go. The size of the kitchen is largely determined by my closet. That is exactly true. The kitchen was gonna be bigger, but it's smaller because behind it is Emily's closet. And I have like two feet of the closet myself. Emily got this for me maybe like three or four years ago. It's a walnut shell, but it has a face on it. I had hid that in my car for you as a gift. And then he was in my car and was like, what's this? I really like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guy I bought it from didn't really know the origin or what exactly it was. It doesn't look like it was a part of something else. It looks like it was just a tiny little craft that someone had made. But it's like a carved walnut shell, no? It's like a, it's a carved <laughs> can. Yeah. This is one of the first jackets I ever made. This was a piece that I had shown, I think in my first collection, or definitely my first collection, and Aaron had always loved it. And I'm so glad that he kept it because we really don't have anything from those first few seasons. I never saw a quilt jacket before. That, that was it. What makes this jacket rare is the fact that it's completely lined in feed sacks. The quilt block pattern is called Streak of Lightning. A lot of people refer to it as stairs or staircase. And you can see there's little novelty prints from like a children's fabric, maybe like a pajama fabric or a dress fabric intermingled with different indigos and khakis. So you didn't make it for me? Not for you specifically. Oh, wow. I mean, I feel like every garment I make or have always made has been for you in a way. We're now sitting at our kitchen table, or dining room table. I guess they're one and the same thing. We're in the dining room. We're in the dining room. I have a design studio called Green River Project with Ben Bloomstein. We made this table together. This is Black Cherry. I think we love pieces of furniture, especially that have kind of a narrative behind it that it wasn't made in mass quantities. You know, I think what we love are these pieces that have some sort of ephemera quality to it. Our goal was just to furnish a home as opposed to make something beautiful. I, I think it looks good. I don't think it's like the best dining table. I don't think it's the most beautiful dining table, but we, we like it. We do have the problem where sometimes the chairs tip over. We'll have people over who we're not very close to and I'll say, oh, that chair tips, you know, because it's only three legs. And they're like, no, 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 it's fine. And then five minutes later, they're on the floor. It's like a milking stool. But basically what happens is if you're, if you're new to, to our house and you come over and you sit down like this and then you're, you're just talking, people, people go over. But the chair, the stool looks good, so it's like a, a icebreaker. I feel like at Bodhi we have a similar problem, especially when I first launched the brand where our clothes were made to be worn, but no one could actually wear them. They would like fall apart in your body <laughs> <laughs> because they were made from textiles from the 1800s. You know, we're making this thing, but you know, be careful what you do with it. So this is a dog bed for Monday. 
that we made really quick because we kind of got them quickly. It's mahogany and then the textile is, is Emily's. I collect towels from the 1960s and 1970s. And this one you particularly liked in my studio. So I was like, well, we can use it for something. It was cool to make something for a dog. And it's just kind of, he like chews the edge. It's Monday's house. So we're sitting here in our living room. Senior chords are something that came about in Indiana at Purdue University in the early 1900s. The story goes that some seniors saw a bolt of corn colored corduroy in the window and they made trousers. And then since then people have been adorning their corduroys with everything from like class schedules to inside jokes and to little drawings. It really was like signing your yearbook and you kind of see similar techniques on friendship quilts or signature shirts, but these really do have everything from, you know, the car that you drive to the sports that you played. And in a lot of these colors and use of, you know, the trimmings, really informed this couch that Aaron drew, drew on with uh, one of our best friends. And this is our senior cord couch. There's like a lobster by Brock. There's a tiger there from a Delacroix painting, you know? So there's just lots of different like small things. But the thing is like people have like spilt stuff on the sofa and we just draw over it. And Monday too, it just, the, it's pretty cool because you can kind of just keep drawing on the sofa. This is something that I saved from my childhood home. This is my mom, <laughs> but my sister made it. And, you know, I, I guess she made the whole family, but I really was drawn to the one she did of my mom. And I've carried this with me to all of my apartments. I, I really like it. And she has blue eyes and my mom definitely does not have blue eyes. Really? Yeah. I see. <laughs> you can see where she pinched the feet to make make her stand up and I, I honestly wish I had saved more of these little ceramics that we made as children. Why I'm into handcrafts and into more like domestic crafts are because of the way that I was raised and the schools that I went to. They really cherished working with your hands and they encouraged working with your hands, you know, getting the most out of, out of an art practice. You wanna do it? No, you got it. This is probably our most favorite room in the house. It's definitely my favorite room. It's our bathroom. No, you said something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, it was so nice to be able to cover the walls and the ceiling and the floor entirely. And um, so this bathroom is kind of like a separate room from the, the rest of the apartment. So when the door is closed, it kind of feels like you're in, in a different kind of universe. This is a, a bathtub that Emily wanted. The position of the bathtub is very intentional. I had only wanted a bathtub in here if we could in fact look directly out our window. So Aaron had to kind of rejig the entire plumbing system in our apartment to figure out how to be able to have one have a view while they're taking a bath. That took four guys to bring it in. It didn't fit in our elevator. That went up seven flights. But our, our dog, Monday, really likes the tub. He goes in the tub at least once a day. And it's an antique tub. A lot of the fixtures in our house we found at salvage places. Probably one of my favorite things in this room is this curtain. This was my grandmother's lace definitely for use on the table. But Aaron had the idea of putting a lot of our lace collection on our windows. But this one's especially valuable to me because it was my grandmother's, but also because there's little shamrock clovers all over it. Thanks for coming by and checking out our apartment. We had a pretty good time. <laughs> showing you around. No, thanks yeah. for coming and checking out our apartment. I hope you enjoyed it.